Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY, and this is Ham Radio Ventures. Today we have the CQV SWR120. This is a very compact uh, SWR power meter that uh, I want to show you how it works and uh, what it's all about here. It does have a USB-C charge port, and we'll show you that in a minute. And that is on the back. Now across the front here, we have uh, three LEDs and three things, alert, full, and charge. They all do something different, all the buttons. And it has a nice color screen there that has multiple screens that we can show you. And on the back we have a, uh, a power switch. We have the SO239s. And then also the, there's the charge port, the uh, USB-C to charge the, uh, the battery, the internal battery. So it need, doesn't need another battery, Runs has its own. Now in the front here we have alert, full, and charge. Each button has its own function. Now when you push the alert and hold, it has the SWR set. This is the alarm. So you can go up and down with the up and down buttons. And then when you actually exit, you just hit the M button. And that brings you back to the meter. When you push full, that actually changes from English to Chinese. Then you hold, and when you hold down full, then you can do the same thing for shutdown time. Um, this is how long the meter will run before it shuts down. And again, you hit uh, M to exit the meter. Now here I'm showing that you uh, changes from English to Chinese there by pushing the full button. Now this meter covers 1.8 to 54 megahertz, has a maximum of 120 watts and a peak of 200 watts uh, SSB, and it will warn you when it gets there. Now here when I push the uh, the M button, it shows you all the different um, screens that you can put up. And just pick the one that you like. Now on the bottom here, there's it's got a couple of little rubber legs to so it uh, doesn't scratch your surface or wherever you're setting it. Let's actually go into this and see what's inside. So to get it open, you have to take out the four top screws. And then you can, once you get the four top screws out, you can swing the top over. I end up breaking the tape, I think, on mine. I'm not planning on sending it back. It seems to work fine. And uh, once you pull the top over, um, you'll see what's inside. You have to disconnect the battery. And that's what I'll do here first so that uh, I don't uh, pull the wire off. I didn't figure it out right away, but uh, I pull the battery loose here and then you can swing the lid all the way over. Now I will get you a nice close up of this, uh, the inside of this for you so you can see what's in there now. So you can see what's inside, and how it's built. It looks pretty clean. All right, let's do some testing on it now and see how it goes. Okay guys, uh, I had to let you know that I already found a bad piece of coax using this meter. It was showing me high SWR and I am on a dummy load. I'll show you a picture of that here. And if you, as you notice, the, uh, the end came off. All right, let's go through this now. We're at five watts AM, key down, 6.2, six watts, 5.9. That's pretty close. Now let's just go up to Let's go up to 15. And there's 15.4. And there's my power there. And then it shows you antenna um, wattage. And then it shows SWR. And the top one is forward. And then it gives you also an efficiency of the antenna. So let's go to 25 watts. And so it shows 24-ish uh, SWR, one to one to 1.0 to 1 and antenna 24 watts and then efficiency 100% because we are in a 50 ohm load and the reference is zero and that the bottom right is the battery for the actual meter okay so now let's just let's just go up to we'll just go all the way up to 40 watts as high as it goes on AM showing 39.3 okay everything looks good all right let me reset this up to an antenna and I will show you what it sounds like when the uh, SWR is too high. 
All right. Okay, so I found a part of the band that's uh, empty. We're only gonna put out five watts. And what I'll do is I will show you the SWR. This is on my doublet. And we went to 40 because I was already on 40. Now what we're gonna do here is I will turn one of my knobs. And if you watch, let's just kick it down here right now. So it's showing 1.5 to one. Now mine is changing because it's raining here. Um, let me see if I can bring that down. Okay, so let me hit this. We're uh, 1.1 to 1, and we're almost 1 to not 1 to 1. And as you watch, I will watch the SWR. It'll start changing colors, and then the alarm will go off when it gets high enough above 2. So here we go. When it, once it hits 1.5 or 1.6, it changes color, like right about here. And so it's alert. And we'll go to 2. And then I'll just bring it back. Okay, so that works pretty well. You can turn the alert off or you can leave it on or you can set it for a higher or lower, whatever you would like to do. So this is pretty cool. I think this uh, is gonna work really good out in the field. What's nice about it also is uh, at the low wattages, it still seems to tune very well. Um, some Sometimes your, uh, your watt meter on your tuner doesn't always like low power, so. This thing might be something I use for with my little ELAD here at the house because it only does 10 watts, so that gives me a good uh, good way to check the SWR before I turn the amp on. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's a cool little uh, SWR power meter. And uh, if you did like the video, hit that like. Don't forget to the subscribe if you're new here. And hit that bell so you get all my future videos. I'm Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Ventures, 73 all. Hope to catch you on the airways.